Just me do me work, 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 work Clean up all the dirt, 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 dirt I know chicken, I know jerk, 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 jerk Just to do me work, 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 work Audio Jungle Audio Jungle
Hello, my name is Paul Polly. I'm CEO for West Coast Energy, located at the best green academy intersection in the Tinkers Village community. I know you have energy problems in your homes, which is a big challenge for Liberia. I'm here to introduce to you the Propo Solar Solution. This Propo Solar Solution has in the package a television, three solar panels, one fan, and eight light bulbs. We are going to increase this light bulb to eight for your home. We have a battery in there. It's custom made, designed by West Coast Energy to supply you for the next 20 years of electricity. Basically, the battery will be changed in seven years. Technically, the installation will last for at least 25 years. The bigger system has more batteries. We have to increase a lot of batteries. And then we have more solar panels on the roof. The bigger system is running air conditions, running all of our appliances, our loads, freezers, which you can also use in your home. So depending on your load, we have to size the system according to your load to know how many panels and how many batteries we can use. We got solution for everything for your energy. So visit us at West Coast Energy. Our location is around the Robbers V Highway right in the Tinkers Village community at the Best Spring Eastern Academy School intersection. you find us there. Please find us so we can help you design a system custom made for your, your own use. The number is It's a beautiful day. A normal day. A very, very basic day. But we always gather for a reason. To share the fun, the excitement, the greatness, the taste, pure gold, rich with flavor and refreshingly good. Club beer is simply the best made just for you. Great for realization in every celebration. Club beer, simply the best made just for you. The best since 1961, bred and bottled in Liberia. Club beer. Share the excitement. For 18 years and above, drink responsibly.
Ask me do me work, 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 work Clean up all the dirt, 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 dirt I no chicken, I no jerk, 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 jerk Just do me work, 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 work Audio Jungle Audio Jungle
Roach Beats. Hello, my name is Paul Polly. I'm CEO for West Coast Energy, located at the best green academy intersection in the Tinkers Village community. I know you have energy problems in your homes, which is a big challenge for Liberia. I'm here to introduce to you the Propo Solar Solution. This Propo Solar Solution has in the package a television, three solar panels, one fan, and eight light bulbs. We are going to increase this light bulb to eight for your home. We have a battery in there. It's custom made, designed by West Coast Energy to supply you for the next 20 years of electricity. Basically, the battery will be changed in seven years. Technically, the installation will last for at least 25 years. The bigger system has more batteries. We have to increase a lot of batteries. And then we have more solar panels on the roof. The bigger system is running air conditions, running all of our appliances, our loads, freezers, which you can also use in your home. So depending on your load, we have to size the system according to your load to know how many panels and how many batteries we can use. We got solution for everything for your energy. So visit us at West Coast Energy. Our location is around the Robbers Fee Highway right in the Tinkers Village community at the Best Brain Internet Academy School intersection. you find us there. Please find us so we can help you design a system custom made for your, your own use. The number is 077 It's a beautiful day. A normal day. A very, very busy day. But we always gather for a reason. To share the fun, the excitement, the greatness, the taste, pure gold, rich with flavor and refreshingly good. Club beer is simply the best made just for you. Great for realization in every celebration. Club beer, simply the best made just for you. The best since 1961, bred and bottled in Liberia. Club beer. Share the excitement. For 18 years and above, drink responsibly.
Cause me do me work, 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 work Clean up all the dirt, 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 dirt I no chicken, I no jerk, 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 jerk Just to do me work, 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 work Audio Jungle Audio Jungle
Roach Beats. Hello, my name is Paul Polly. I'm CEO for West Coast Energy, located at the Best Green Academy intersection in the Tinkers Village community. I know you have energy problems in your homes, which is a big challenge for Liberia. I'm here to introduce to you the Propo Solar Solution. This Propo Solar Solution has in the package a television, three solar panels, one fan, and eight light bulbs. We are going to increase this light bulb to eight for your home. We have a battery in there. It's custom made, designed by West Coast Energy to supply you for the next 20 years of electricity. Basically, the battery will be changed in seven years. Technically, the installation will last for at least 25 years. The bigger system has more batteries. We have to increase a lot of batteries. And then we have more solar panels on the roof. The bigger system is running air conditions, running all of our appliances, our loads, freezers, which you can also use in your home. So depending on your load, we have to size the system according to your load to know how many panels and how many batteries we can use. We got solution for everything for your energy. So visit us at West Coast Energy. Our location is around the Robbers V Highway right in the Tinkers Village community at the Best Green Internet Academy School intersection. you find us there. Please find us so we can help you design a system custom made for your, your own use. The number is 
Hello, housemates. You all are aware that ZKT is not a stranger. This is their second time. VKT, thank you again for turning up. Okay, love you. Thank you. You may proceed. Okay, thanks, Bobby. Like he said, this is our second time, so we want to appreciate you guys so far. Uh, to, today we are here just to talk about, you guys know about the debate already. Yeah. So before then, we introduce ourselves, and then you have the debate. After then, we have two presentations to me. So for me, I'm Alvi Zemo. I'm the marketing officer of DKT. And then we have Wilhelmina Flomo, a consultant DKT, and the president of the Royal Midwest Association. Second time around, Amanda Selma Brown, the technical officer at KT Liberia. My name is Prince, Prince Zola, and senior sales officer at the KT International. <coughs> so we, we, we go right into the debate. We, we should have a, a team leader for each group. So I would like to do the team leader for group A and kind of group B. You know, team leader? No team leader. So you can, just, you can just find a team leader right now. Because we need to have, we need to have a team leader. Can we? Can we agree on? The thing is, we all didn't, you know, we individually, we have what Oh, so you have the individual yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fine. Okay. So we just, we just go like that. Mm -hmm. So we start the presentation individually. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. Group A, group A. Group A, group B. Yeah. Okay, so we'll start with group A. So one from group A, one from group B, just like that. So you decide how the oil is cooked. So, okay, so we start from. Yeah, we can start from top of. Start from top of. Okay, so we start from. All the other people are just going to do it. Both of them can touch me. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay. Um, hello, VKT. Um, hello, housemates. Uh, hello, viewers. My name is Delvin Oliver Cooper, and um, today I'm presenting on the topic that was given to us. Um, should men be the driving force um, for their partners in um, the process of family planning? And 
I thought to myself that, okay, no, I said no, men should not be the driving force. And for what I had jotted down, the points I had jotted down, um, I pray that it kind of facilitates my opinion or my decision for saying no. Um, I said, in as much as family planning um, should be discussed in a home between a male and a female, whether they're in a relationship or so forth, uh, because I believe that before a woman offer family planning, her mindset is thinking about also sexual intercourse as well to prevent her from having unwanted pregnancies and so forth. So, in as much as we are looking at having a relationship between two people, I believe that um, is the woman's willpower um, that will influence the man's decision in the process of going for family planning. Because why? Um, the woman is the one who says, I'm not ready yet, because she bores a child in her body. She says, I'm not ready yet. She has goals, she has whatever dreams and aspirations. And she says, I'm not ready yet, So, but I want to have sex, or I want to satisfy it, because we men, we have sexual desires as well. And in the process of her not wanting to be selfish to us, she says, okay, this is how I want us to do it. Now, what we are there to do, from my opinion, is to serve as support system to her, based on her decision. Because I cannot influence my partner and say, hey, I'm dragging you to go and get family planning. But whatever she decides is what I do. Because in as, in as much as she's going to even have a child for me, if we decide to have a child in the process, the fact remains that I'm still a support system because she carries the child in her belly. I cannot carry the child, I cannot feel the pain she bears. But I'm there to support her in whatever decision she makes. So I said, our role as men, um, or our role um, as in the family planning process is basically a support system. With that being said, the male counterparts must be educated. Now, this is the part where we have to be educated and informed about family planning procedures. Because for a fact, a lot of men are not very privileged to this factor. Or we know that family planning prevents women from getting pregnant, but we don't understand it because we have not gotten to the point where we actually understand the women's circles. So there are times that your woman don't need to be on family planning procedures, but also if you understand her circle, her monthly circle, you can also work with her in that process to also prevent unwanted pregnancies as well. So once, once we're able to understand how even the post pills work, then definitely we are able to work with her to support her in the process in getting her the right plan as she wants to get on. Um, family planning options should be discussed between two partners first before opting for this. Not the fact that I have a relationship and then my girlfriend or my wife or whoever just decides that I'm going to take family planning option because she wants to prevent it. It should be a conversation because at the end of the day, if we have the, the intention of making life together, we should be able to make decisions together. And those decisions need to be a communicable one. So you can just offer something and let's go and do it. That would be very selfish to the man. Um, over the years, men have basically been um, kicked to the back seat when it comes to certain things pertaining women. For example, men were not, for, for my orientation, men were not, I wasn't privileged to talk about my sisters or my cousin, female um, aspect, their circle, their monthly circles and stuff. Those were things forbidden for me. I couldn't see those things. But now considering the fact that um, we have modernization and we have information technology all around, you can get anything from anywhere, any information in this era, um, I believe that the educational aspect should be beefed up the more because Preventing men or keeping men out of the picture, it only hurts the women the most. Because, for example, in our practical situation, there are times that um, women women create some women create um, scenes where they say, "Oh, I'm on my period," and just because they don't want to have sex with a guy, and if the guy is not informed about it, he doesn't know when to have sex with her and when not to have sex with her. And also, sometimes some women can react differently because when they have cramps, they don't know how to react, and men don't know. Like we are not very patient minor to those things, or we're not sensitive to those, to those things enough to know when a woman is going through a menstrual circle and stuff. So for that reason, we kind of overreact or we get upset because we don't understand what's going on with her body as well. But once we're informed, if she says, okay, I have my I have my message coming from this time to this time, and it's consistent, obviously you know that her window period is this period, and you know when she's safe and when, and how to even navigate. And it's also even prudent for men to even go into the stores and buy sanitary pads, and also buy post pills and come and say, hey, babe, I got you X, Y, and Z. These are your stuff that I got you, without her even being conscious of it, because, Men in general has been shying away from the fact because of the fact that we've been kept in the back seats. So we've been shying away from going to the stores and saying, I want a sanitary pad. 
we feel a little awkward, which of course I think with education and a lot of information being dis um, disseminated, we wouldn't feel awkward, we wouldn't feel uncomfortable about this process. We would definitely feel comfortable and bold enough to say, hey, I'm going to get you your sanitary pack, or I walk into the store today and I saw X, Y, and Z, and I bought it for you because I know that you need it. So that's the confidence we get when we do that. And it's also going to help us to become better spouses. So for example, better husbands, better boyfriends, better um, fathers, even to our daughters and stuff like that, because for my opinion, I believe that my daughter and I will have that father-to-daughter conversation. I don't need to wait for my, my wife to come and sit down with my daughter first. I should be able to tell my daughter about boys. But at a certain age, when I know she's capable enough to start seeing her messages and stuff like that, before I can have these conversations with her, because at the end of the day, I don't want to also corrupt her mindset. So um, I believe that having babies is by choice. It's not by chance. So definitely, in the process of having baby by choice, it has to be a conversation that we both have to agree upon. Because when we say we are ready to have babies, we should be ready at the time. Not just sexually, but also capable enough to take care of the baby and not to bring babies into this world to come and jeopardize their future or to hinder them because of our selfish interest or self-desire. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That's <laughs> So for our, our next uh, representative of those that are giving the presentation, we have two to minutes because of time. Oh, okay? Mm -hmm. So we just make it short and sweet. Yes? I like if the person goes to the you can turn it to Oh, yes, no, but I, I, don't, I don't want to do that. That's what I'm telling you guys. I have two to minutes, please. Okay? So the next person. Excuse me. Um, sometimes when you're on stage, you you will not be calculating the time. Because yeah. mm -hmm. I guess every one of us here, we already lost our mind on time. Because we don't know anything about time again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let's go to the next person. Thank you. Hello. 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 The reason why I'm saying that is very, very simple because here in our law setting now, the family planning thing is like uh, the women, they just bring it all by themselves and no. That kind of person with family planning, when they say family planning, they not one person. Mm -hmm. Like two persons they come together to make a family. Whether that like boyfriend or girlfriend. So long they come together to have sexual intercourse. That one the family start on them. But the men now should be able to encourage or influence the woman to do family planning. The reason is simple. Look all around now. Let's look at our financial status all around the city. You the man, if you didn't encourage your woman, you go meet your woman girl, your woman or you don't encourage your woman to do family planning, she go get fed or pregnancy before the time. Number one, you are not financial financially potent to support. Number two now, let's say for the other guys that are living with their parents and they still having sexual intercourse. That burden we born out the bit out of because since she did not influence her to perform the family or said she did not do it, she born the baby and number two, it bring burden to the society because she's not able to care for the baby. So, what I simply trying to say is this men, so long we are help or, or help us to our women support system, we should always encourage them, put on the safe side, say, let's do this, let's do this. We should be able to tell them the two way we get on the positive side and the negative side of it. Say, oh, we have a sexual intercourse. If we don't have take family planning, we, we, we should be able to outline some reasons, the effect, the, the thing that will happen after we, we, we told them how to do it. So I strongly support that men should be influencing our women to do family planning for a better future. Thank you. Good afternoon, housemates and activities and national. Good afternoon. So, my name is Telvin Borumasekwe, Telvin Faith. So, the question is should men be the driving force of the partner family planning option? And I said no. So, one of the reasons I said no is because it's more of a woman's decision you know, to make. It's her body, she knows what's suitable in her body, she knows what she wants. Secondly, men cannot be the driving force because it's a relationship that means they both should decide. The men cannot fully decide that. I think it's, it's too harsh for the men to be the driving force. Like why if the woman don't agree? Uh, so the men cannot be the driving force. The third thing is, uh, men cannot be the driving force because family planning is more of a woman health program. 
and you can't get a man to make most of the decision as to what enters the woman's body, like I said earlier. Another thing could be, it's up to, if it's up to a man to decide or to be the driving force or, or make a decision on whether or not a woman should take family planning, I believe that it's going to affect the growth in the human race negatively because looking at guys nowadays, right, um, most of us, we are, we, are, we are not, most of us, we are not willing to take on um, parental and family responsibilities like in our age, right? So, um, yet we want to have fun. So therefore, irresponsible men are going to see this as a means to escape responsibilities if men are the driving force to family Thank you. the decision making when it comes to family planning because uh, in general we all know that the man is the head of the home. Though the woman's decision should be a lot, but looking at gender equality, the men should be partial when it comes to making key decisions. You should make decisions across the board that will affect every side of the family. And women by nature, they, they love support. As a man, you have to be there to support her, to make sure she's doing the right thing. Even when she's not seeing the person she's being blinded by love. And looking at the essence of family planning, a woman needs family planning because she, she has to get a breast space between her children, let's say three to five years, in order for her to have a healthy body. As a man, you want your woman to look good always. You want to have a healthy body. So you have a part to influence that decision. Looking at financial status, you want to, you want your family to, to, to be well planned. According to your finances, you have to make that decision. You're not making that decision because you want to prove that you are the man. You are making a decision because of your, of your family. Your children, your children need time with, with the parents. You need to educate <coughs> your woman on, on these things. And a man coming up influencing a decision doesn't mean that he's in, in, uh, imposing it on the woman. But it's just that you are taking your initiative as a man. That, okay, I will take the initiative, I will, I will take the first step in, in, in this family. If anything falls back, I, I will take this one to the first. And you are not telling her, uh, you don't have bread. Uh, I will tell you what to do with your body, but you are you are just being this man who wants to, to who wants the best for your family. So if a man wants to see a woman looking healthy, I, I, I always you will have to make sure you you you, you try to educate her on that, or you, you have to take the lead because you won't have a breast space like I said. If you want your family to have a very a very, a very good financial position, you have to take the lead to influence her on uh, making family plans. So uh, these are things that men need to take initiative for, not uh, being, because we are looking at gender equality. So my, my decision shouldn't be to set this out with family, it should call the cross. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Hello. My name is <laughs> Avi Kamara. Mm -hmm. and my presentation today will be based on the analysis and experiences I've had from people living in slum communities and those in rural areas. So I'm saying no, men shouldn't be the driving force towards family planning. And my reasons are very simple. The first thing is that our population, Liberia, we have, um, I'm not going to give the percentages, but well, we have a very huge number of people who are actively having sex that are not married. And these people are having multiple relationships, most of them. So the, the matter of family planning, most of them have this um, low level mentality that family planning is going to give the lady infection, it will encourage her to have sex around the place and the rest of it. So if you as a young lady wants to prevent your future, you want to plan your life. Like I want to have this. I'm so sorry. I actually forgot. Like not supposed to be a relationship. So like if you as a lady wants to make sure that your life is on the right foot path as well as you having sex, this man is gonna stand in the way and tell you that ah family planning and give you infection and it's gonna do this and do that and will give you leverages to go and have sex multiple areas. Another thing is that men don't want to give you that type of freedom. They always want to have that control to some extent that 
you you can be totally free because you know that if you are not getting pregnant or having a child for them at any point in time when it starts to misbehave you have so many options so they're not fully going to support you especially liberia as a case study a lot of the men around here wouldn't be in complete support of family planning because they feel like family planning is going to give you a lot of opportunities to do so much more and the challenges are going to be high up so i feel that it is a lady's responsibility to completely decide whether you want to go for family planning or not because you are the one that all of the responsibilities or liabilities are going to fall back on whether you're going to have sporting during your family planning period whether you're going to have whatever going to be happening in your body is on you so as a lady you should be the one to decide thank you If we are talking about family, we mean we are talking about a group of people or two persons coming together, either they are blood related or maybe by documentation they are related. So as a woman, if you go for a family planning, what we are saying is that it should be discussed with your partner. The both of you should decide on it. We always have the saying as female like, oh, gender equality, gender equality. All right. So if you are saying that gender equality, you cannot be leaving the men out of your decision making in the room. You cannot just get up one morning and decide that, okay, it is my body. I decide when I want to bring child to this world. In fact, I don't want to have too many stress marks on me. I don't want my breast to suck. Or if we should know it is natural, it will happen. And then you go ahead without telling your partner, you go and get um, your family planning done. Why that person at home, every time when the both of you have intercourse, they expect you to get pregnant, but then you are not getting pregnant. And you are not telling them what is going on. Some men, they must start going outside and thinking like, oh, maybe my woman get born again. My woman gets some kind of medical issues that she had for me. That's the reason why every time we're having intercourse, nothing happening. And I know a case study of a friend, a very close friend. I mean, her man was desperately in need of child, but because she's so beautiful and she said, she See, I am on my breast to sad. I'm ready to lose my hips and everything. Anybody know that someone that working in everything, doing everything for her, but she was taken from the plane without his consent. He knew nothing about it. And at the end of the day, he got fed up and felt she could have born. And before she realized it, he got a different child also. And she lost her relationship. We see marriages uh, getting um, broken because of this. Before you, you as a woman decide to have family planning, you should set your husband down. Oh, sweetheart, I want to have this. And as a man, you should be like a support system to your woman. That when the both of you decide upon it, then you can go for it. You can't have the man waiting. Just the man one child, then you the woman, you one child at that time. And you'll see your family. You'll see your partners. This is not family planning came to, um, for us to have spacing or to decide as to when we want to have kids. Family planning is not here to divide us as family. It is there to bring us together and we should be able to plan our lives our lives properly so that we we'll be able to live according to what we can afford so my group we are saying that men should influence a woman family planning decision to have a good and healthy family <laughs> Strategically, and I'm gonna yeah. ask few minutes for this topic, and then I realized that the woman should be the one to make the decision because she knows her husband's money income or her, let's say, partner money income and her startup, her startup in his life. Like, how much he making money 
to have four or five kids, or if she's if she marry him or she decide him to have four or five kids. So my point here is she's she's the one to have the decision like if she willing to be such a, to have five kids or if she willing to to be the one to break poverty her up to get five kids. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> she should be the one to make the decision. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ginger Fab, and yes, my team is in support of men taking the lead or influencing our decisions to fund the many matters. Like uh, my colleague directly put it, we have had too many issues surrounding family planning, you know, because of the perception that we women carry that is out there and we can do it our way, you know, leaving our men out of it. So you have gotten to a point that people go on separations, divorce, you know, and other stuff. Yeah, people say it's the woman decision because she bear the pain, she will carry the weight, and she will do whatever. But let's take into consideration that if your man is fully aware, like he's fully educated on what family planning is, like you are, he will not stop you from doing the right thing because he will know that you are doing this for the family. You are trying to make the family uh, to have this one unity, one voice, as in he's, he's coming in to tell you, okay, baby, we have this first child, let's wait after a year to get another one because we want this unity in this family. And not you doing it on your own because if you have your own decision to make it, you can run it on your own terms. So yes, men should be the one making that decision, not that, not as in imposing it like, yo, you got to do it, but it should be a plain thing. Like, okay, darling, I want to do family planning and work like this and go like this. Okay, baby, go ahead and do it. You know, as much as you know your main income, you can tell when he's actually going to get that, whether it's going to be stable as in every month, this is what he make, according to you. But there's a possibility maybe something may happen one way or the other, he may not like to share that with you as his wife. So you will not know where he gets some hitches in his incomes. So for proper family planning, I think the main and the woman should decide, and the man should be in more willingness because it's his responsibility to take care of his family. I stay here. Thank you. I'm Kevin Chin for the customer discussion. My team, I say no. For me, she be the one telling the man about family planning. Let's look at the rural era nowadays because everyone going in the city. Let me check out the rural era. Okay. Nowadays, Men don't have the time with their women to get and say, oh, come and take family planning. Go to the farm, to other things. So I guess the woman will be the best person to convince their husband about family planning. None of this, everybody has to tell that if you want to take family planning, you have to in your stomach, you get fat, you're not going to recover in the second wife because the male will be thinking that you already have, you can born. So you, you, you have second wife. So as a husband, as a lady, you will convince your husband. Oh, in India, we get anything. So I said, we're not going to three children. They found the plane thing, that's good at this. If I think, if I be on from the family, when I think I'm born again for, that will put space between the children, maybe after three years or after four years before we're born. So if women stay in the gap telling their husband that, it should take family planning. I think the men will be more encouraged and you encourage your other friends out there. And also, I, sh I want to recommend to DJT Liberia. At least you guys can do awareness in the in the era. What we that we can to chief elders convincing them that men should be the, the front line for family planning. I think it will help you guys more a lot. Thank you. 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 That men should be the influencer to family planning. So, like, I have experienced this with a friend before. So, you can't be in a position as a lady and then just conclude that when it comes to family planning, you should be the head. Because it also brings breakdown in your relationship. So, sitting as a lady and just concluding that 
oh, let me do family planning. <coughs> and I, I don't want to tell my husband because maybe he's that kind of person that loves plenty of children and stuff. It's going to be a, and bring a lot of breakdown. So we are saying yes. Men should influence family, uh, family planning because the men are going to be there to support you when it comes to, let's say, financially. Because you will be like a lady in chest spreading children all around and feel like he's going to be happy about it. Because we all have different type of men. You will find people don't want him, too much children in the house. You will find people wanting them a lot. So maybe an influential will also help to keep the home going safe because he will be like, baby, I think we should do this. And you as a lady, you are also supporting this, so you will always listen to him. And feel like whatsoever decision he's making, even if it's wrong, you guys will come to a warm understanding and then you'll have the family going on smoothly. So, we are saying yes to men influencing family planning. Yeah, hello. Um, um, okay, I'm Tribute Brown, and the question says Should men be the traffic force of that panel? In family planning, and I say no. Okay, if you're the husband, say that you say no breaks TV show in family, but I'm saying no because they got a lot of single mothers out there who have born kids, and I mean, even they're going to another woman. So, TV show come on its own. Now, by family planning, you telling your man or not telling your man. And the fact is, we are forgetting. We are the women who take that burden. They mean something that was supposed to maybe financially or in advance. In relationship, we all are equal. But we Africans who have that mentality that men's the hand, should say yes. If we say today is fun motto, even if you want to eat the best soup, you won't eat it. And that's wrong. So we can only tell our men because we want to respect them as the head of the home. But it's not forced. Because we are working on our child in our womb, at times when the baby kicking, that nigga won't feel it. Maybe you won't tell him, say, oh, baby, sorry, I'm feeling So I'm saying no, no, and no. We mean she get the final thing of family Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Philip Maggie. And I'm saying yes, men should support their women and family because first of all, I love to give an uh, <coughs> example as Tommy was saying, in your rural era, let me go there, we will see that we have families that, I will not even say families, but they are not married. You will see a guy and a lady, they have like three, four, five children. They can support. Women, they have men family, women family. They have Men cutting wood, we got women in the world, they are cutting wood, they don't have time to take care of their babies, they don't have time to take care of their kids. So, you will have people from Monrovia going out of town, taking people's children, bringing them to Monrovia to sell on the street. If you play your family, you wouldn't have that going Because at the end of the day, if you know that I want to have one kid or I want to have two, you know that you can sustain it, even if you live in the interior. You know that you're able to feed them, you know that you're able to bathe them on time, you know that you're able to cater for them. So even if that one moving from the interior to come on the road here, you know that there will be a way in which that child will be catered for. Like maybe the people in the city cannot do it intentionally to say, oh, I'm going to person child, can't suffer them to sell on the street. But then again, when you get five children, somebody won't help you, a sister can't in the interior, like, I'm five children. She got a TV from there, and when she bring a TV, maybe she's not able to support that TV. So she'll say, all right, I won't be going to money school, won't worry evening school. Why are you going to money school in the evening? I'll be selling buckets out, the other one I'll be standing on the quarter selling pure water. We got so many kids on the street selling, and it's because our family are not being well playing. It is because we don't have that in our setting, in our mindset. And women on our side, we don't know anything about. They don't know anything about family planning. All they know is they should eat, go out in the money, go to the farm, do what the husband wanted to do, and be done. I am saying yes, men should force because even with the youth, it will help us to stop the plenty of abortion, abortion, abortion. It will help us a lot because if you're playing this and say okay, then my sister says she get all bulletproof. 
So she asked her to nah, till next day. She knows that she's not getting pregnant. But me, like, yeah, I don't have anything. So if I have sex today, as soon as I start, okay, come as well, come myself, my lira, I was sick, they feel as soon as I start showing all of this, I get better. Because, <laughs> because I don't have a uh, family planning in me. And of course, I've had sex before I came here. I've been having sex, unprotected sex, of course. So it's obvious that I can get pregnant without me planning what I'm supposed to plan, without me setting this time up, without me knowing my cycle. As a matter of fact, you don't even have to use family planning. Once you know your cycle, and you and your house, your boyfriend can talk about it, say, all right, this is my time. I can finish setting time here. I can be done with my period so and so time. So you give me time before we have sex. It's plain. That's plain right there. You can plan on her and I think, if I make sense, but that's that thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, hello. Hi. Um, my name is Arika Snyder, aka Ruka. So, um, <sighs> question says Should men be the driving force for their partners in the family planning option? A man's decision is a very big one. Firstly, it's not a man who's going to carry the pregnancy for nine or eleven months. Even though we conceive by a spermatozoa, it's going to be the woman's burden. So now I'm going to give two examples why men should be a driver force for family planning option or decision. One, a, a young teenage girl should consider her future or dream being a stake. Like for example now, in our country. From 12 to 17 years, we have blacks, our homeowners, um, our homeowners, uh, our homeowners are very high when it comes to sexual intercourse. We we'll want to try this, we we'll want to have the experience of this at a very early age. So, you will have a teenage girl going to a teenage boy to try this experience. And in this experience, she might get pregnant. And if she's not considering her future or her dreams being at risk, and if she's not smart, and don't think that these days kids, we are not smart, we are very smart. Because we do a lot of things. So as a, as a child, once you know that you are involved into sexual intercourse at an early age. That's the same way you were smart to know how to hire yourself and your parents. You should be very smart to know to take all advice from a big sister to go to the hospital and, and, and to find the pain. Second, she should think twice of poverty and economic problem in the country. Like I said, nowadays the whole teenage pregnancy thing revolves around teenage girls. Set up for example, a girl might come from a poor family and another person might come from a rich family. In other words, in other cases, a rich family may be able to support their kids having a child. But a poor family might not be able to support their child having a kid, especially at a young age. So you'll find another other parent like, put in a child, say, get out of my house, go, go to the place where you get pregnant from. And now, you're not thinking, she wasn't even thinking about the economic problem or the, the or she coming from a poor background or stuff like that. So at the end of the day, she never thought about it and then she wastes her whole life and dreams down the, the dream. So I think it should be the decision of the child or the lady to plan her family planning. Or maybe her, her parents can also help her in the process. So thank you. All right, hello everybody. I want to do the butter talking like that. Yeah, I guess only two minutes I have. But um, I'm active and curly, allies, easy pain. I'm here to talk about how men should take the lead in allowing their women to take the family planning. And my team is saying yes. So um, looking at relationship wise, men, we are the ones that are responsible for the home. That is to say, we take care of the home. No matter how our wives are educated, we take care of the home. Two places, in bed, outside the bed, which is the working force. It is now that we have, oh, our women are learning, learning so they can 
they can help to facilitate with some of the work, some of the problems in the home. But trust me, on, a, on an 85% ratio, men are responsible for all of the all of the decisions in the house. Women are they have that, that influence that influence in the house, but men have the power. We should stand, we should stand our ground because we know, because we know that we know the problem that we are facing out there. We know that our economic problem. So we are the men and we should take the lead in allowing our women to uh, undergo the family planning. Thank you. So <laughs> Okay, so thanks, uh, thanks to all, all of you guys, you know, great, uh, 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 great explanation. And everybody was right. You know, everybody's decision is, 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 is good for everybody. Also, uh, we, we, we have a prize for uh, the debate. The team is going to choose two persons. I think you guys are two already. Yeah. And they will compete among themselves. You guys know the topic already. And then we'll come to a winner after we have our presentation. So my team will go in us and get the prayer the two, <laughs> the two to give us the debate and then we have a winner. Okay? So just a minute. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Teenagers to have full access to family planning on their own. So I'm saying no, it shouldn't. And there are some reasons why I'm saying no. In as much as we want a society where people are able to take care of their responsibilities, if teenagers are given the full right to family planning 
they might just create a society where we all wouldn't be able to condone. That is to say that having a child or getting pregnant isn't the only risk at hand. There are lots of other things involved. People are going to be lawless when it comes to sex. Their sexual lives are not going to be regulated. That is, they're going to get sexually transmitted infections and the rest of it. But if a teenager is guarded by a parent who wants that child to have a bright future, that parent is on you as a parent to take that child through the guardian's process. That is, you take your child to the hospital or wherever they're giving the family planning and put that child on a schedule in which you know that it will be conducive for that child. In my own opinion, sometimes I will say that we give our young people um, family planning without them knowing so that it can help to prevent their sexual abuse. In as much as you won't be fully in charge of how they're going to have sex because as a teenager, it's hard, especially between the ages of 16 to 19, it's hard. But then again, as a parent, let the parents be in charge instead of it being on your own as a teenager. So, again, Marcus, I will, uh, I will say yes. So, what is true that every parent, everyone in here is against or uh, early sex, there are some realities we cannot ignore. You know. Number one, technology. Technology exposes sexual content to teenagers, and no one will say they will stop the child when you see technology. Your child will do a summary to make research. And the internet exposes children to sex. We will say, let's give our children advice about family, about sex at early age. Then why are you getting advice about family planning? Because as a parent, no matter how you try to put restriction on your children, you will not spend 24 hours with them. And you need them to do the right thing. Though you're not in support of certain things, you ain't in support of them having sex, but what if it's happening? Discipline B. How do I face this? You're not telling your child about family planning. Your child go and have sex. And that child is afraid of you so much because you bash her heart every time she went to do abortion. And she did it the wrong way. You lost your child. And when and now you live in regret. If I knew I would have told her about this. I would have told her about that. Seeing that she spent her entire life off to doing a summer where you know the internet got contents out there that you cannot control. So we are, we are in an open world. I think parents should be open enough to their children. Education. If you want to stop. Anything that you think is not healthy for the first Saturday, you got to educate people's minds. Parents will not teach their children about sex, but you go out there, your child will not have sex. Your child is in, 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 in your classroom, someone talking about sex. She wants to experience it. Your child put her internet phone on, she see two people kissing. She wants to experience it. So what's the role as a parent? I think we should be open enough to tell our children our subject. Do teenagers die from pregnancy-related complications? Yes. Yes. Okay, hold on. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. A lot of teenagers die due to pregnancy-related complications. Like, um, this year, May, I kind of lost my only sister in this same scenario. So, she got pregnant and then went to do child prep, something, something, and the surgery went through. After two hours, the child died and she died. So, yes, it happens, but I'm not supposed to defend my <laughs> side again, right? So, so what do you think, if, which method would have been put in a place that would have prevented her death to be? The, the mental that I think that would have prevented that death is by me, because I, I was literally the only parent there. If I had carried her 
to take the family planning. Because mind you, she kind of knew about family planning, but she could not go. Because she, she felt like there, there's, you know, there isn't a need. So if I had stood my ground as the parent and got her all through that process, I think it would have prevented it. So, so you, you, from your explanation, you are telling us that teenagers should take family planning, but with the consent or of the, the guidance of the parents. Yes. Mm -hmm. What if that child doesn't have a parent? If that child does not have a parent, no, she is sexually active. And that child is sexually active. So we are talking between the ages of, let's say, from 14. To 19. Start from 12. Mm -hmm. No, 12 isn't a teenager, so 13 to. Okay. So we're discussing teenagers, right? <coughs> so we're taking from 13. Let's discuss adolescents. Okay. Let's start from now. Okay, so we're going to discuss as adolescents now. Yeah. So we're going to start from 9 years old, right? Mm -hmm. To 19. So this is it, right? If that child does not have a biological parent, there is someone who's going to play the guardian role. If there is no one in the community, the nurse at the hospital who will be administering that family planning is going to play that role as the guardian. Because my so she, 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 the only way the nurse at the, at the uh, clinic can do that is if she goes there. So if she doesn't go there. Should somebody must take a decision? Should it be the, 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 the adolescent or the nurse? The decision should never ever um, yeah, so regarding the topic, um, the second conversation, I think uh, teenagers, uh, teen age starts from 13, she so goes to 19. So um, considering that, we are looking at the practical side of it, and also there is the ethical side of it as well, which of course the ethical side of it is that the society, schools and stuff are supposed to have sexual conversations, sexual education conversations. And also parents, we as parents need to play those roles as well. But that doesn't mean our kids are supposed to be actively having sex. The, the education aspect is to inform you, is to make you aware of these things and the repercussions. You don't need to literally take family planning to abstain. I believe we all know what the ABC stands for. Okay, We can all practice those things because for me personally, I didn't have sex when I was of age, personally. And that was because I knew about sex at the age of teenage, like 17, 18, but I was not a participant of it. But I knew everything about sex. It's because this was a thing that my parents sat me down and explained to me in advance. They even educated me about it. You understand? So we're all different. So considering our, our country, Liberia, wherein we have teenage pregnancy on the rampage, what we need to do as a society is to create opportunities that will inform these kids. Like, for example, DKT, I, like, I think my last recommendation was to, was to champion this space because I think that you guys have the power in your hands to create the information. The awareness is what we need to create. And we are all here supposed to serve as ambassadors for this project because it's something that we are all fighting against. Per our constitution, you are not eligible to do certain things until you're 18. So now why should, why should a teenager be involved into certain things that they're not supposed to get involved into? It's because it's a lack of information. It's also um, relating to poverty. It's also relating to certain constraints that is beyond our control. So we need to champion these things and create more information. For example, in the US and other countries, the Western world, we don't have these things like on the rampage. You don't hear America talking about teenage pregnancy as a thing. It's because we are on the, no, we have it, it happens. But what I'm saying is not a top-notch topic. You understand? It's not a top-notch topic like compared to Liberia. We have, we have 12 years of getting pregnant. You understand? So these are things that we need to champion in our country to serve the difference. Okay, so because one of point time, point let's, point let's point 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 into point our decision point. making for some of the presentation that will that some comments will be embedded in. Okay. Okay. So, I just want to make a call So because of time, we just have two two persons from here. Right? Mm -hmm. One person has spoken already on this side. Yeah. Two of us. Two, 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 two persons have spoken. So let two years then give mm -hmm. us have a presentation. Yeah, uh, so I listen to my colleague, I think they agree with me. What I said out there. Mm -hmm. Because like the information process, the or the education process about teenagers or or, or teen family planning, it starts from the parents. Mm -hmm. And the best way you can disseminate information is a one to one. A parent will, will listen more or a child will listen more to or, or will learn better from the parent one to one than when you just said in the school 
or when just on a media or, or, or whatever platform. Like for example, if I am selling this product that feels like one of the to anybody, if I tell my friend say, oh, this is the best, he will he, he will have value, he will have value even more than when they hear it somewhere else because he know that our trusted souls has given the that part the information. So we we our children see their parents as the as the most the first trusted souls for any information when it comes to education. So <coughs> the, we get yeah, well, like it has to start from the parent before going to any other souls. Because even before going for family planning, if you are at the hospital, the nurses will be able to train you through the entire family planning. They will let you know maybe the advantages and disadvantages. But you decide on it going there should be your own decision. And if we can have, we cannot close our eyes to the fact that a lot of teenagers right now in Liberia, we are doing things that we shouldn't be getting involved in. And even though we have rules and laws that say, oh, you shouldn't do this as a teen, as a teen Asian man, but then it's not changing the reality right now that we are faced with. And because of that, I believe that teen Asians should be allowed to make that decision of getting family planning so that we can stop the too many teenage pregnancies that we have, so that we can, have, um, so that we can stop children getting doing and um, maternal mortality yes so that we can start it because there are a lot of people dying too from it so that we can be able to have a safer society so that is my point so we'll ask the two contestants to help discuss oh, oh, okay. 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 Tibet are just meant Tibet are meant to push some ideas that maybe we have been thinking and we think that we are what if we say out it can push all the ideas to people who listen it right. Mm -hmm. Now if we say that it is not it shouldn't be passed. It shouldn't be legal as that teenagers be having access, teenagers have access to family planning now. What happens to us if we continue to speak about abstinence? If you enter even a classroom, sixth grade classroom, let's take it at least, how many of those girls are going to put their hands up and say, I'm still a virgin? So what happens if she's already having sex? Mm -hmm. Why shouldn't she get a right to go to the hospital and get the family planning? If she gets sick or if she gets pregnant and then she has to go and do abortion, then she know that she won't have that money to go straight to the hospital where she will do abortion. Maybe you will charge her 50 US dollars or maybe 30 US dollars. Where will she get that from? Now she has a decision to make to go behind there do something else at the end of the day if there's any complication it comes to the public it comes to everybody knowledge that she, oh she has already done or safe abortion maybe she would die mm -hmm. then she dies mm -hmm. what comes back to us but hey can you people say oh if you gave her the right to do something it makes her promiscuous when we started having sex did we become promiscuous go having sex mm -hmm. the, the take it back to your teenage time, or take it back to the time when you started having sex. Did you become promiscuous because you had sex once? No. Having sex once doesn't give you any, any uh, 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 right, or give, doesn't give you any spirit to become promiscuous. And so, and if you are that way, meaning you are just that way. And it, be, it, mm -hmm. comes, it comes about because of environmental yeah. changes mm -hmm. and your interactions. Mm -hmm. yes. And after you have gone so far, after you have gone so far, before you even know that you're supposed to be promiscuous, or you start becoming attracted to other men, mm -hmm. before that thing comes comes to your mind. So when we are making decisions, let, let's say it out that maybe tomorrow we'll be in your public gallery and say, oh, is it right that teenagers can access to family planning? We we'll yes. say yes. 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 We could say yes. Now, in other countries, not our country, I've watched that, we can't legal last because it, it, since it wasn't legal last, there was more death coming out of it. So why now we we legal last? It? So they can come to the hospital and do it properly and we we, have, we, we protect their lives. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, for me, the issue of them getting the free space to do it or legalizing uh, family cleaning, I don't see that as a problem for teenagers to be able to decide for themselves. All I'd say from my side is let the parents, the education should go across that the parents should be involved. It shouldn't yeah. just be left with them alone. You know, on a screen that whether they don't have parents or I, I, one way or the other, they got someone that they relate to. So if they even hear the information in school from DKT, they would discuss it one way or the other with someone that they have that can guide them in the process of going for it because, yeah, that just should be someone that is with them. Not the person telling them, okay, you say yes or you say no, but the person should be able to take them, you know, to go along. Yeah. But it could be that decision. It's a decision to make to go and take it because we can't erase the fact that our teenagers all will have sex in, in our country. I don't want to speak for other countries yeah. Yeah. because yeah. I haven't been there yeah. 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 for Liberia yeah. Yeah. from 12 years old. They are having sex. Yeah. 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 Sex, yeah. sex awareness in high school. Uh -huh. yeah. You understand those kind of topics because a lot, a lot of people kind of shy away from sex awareness conversations because mm -hmm. of whatever environment they find themselves in. But I think it's very prudent that these things start happening. I would recommend like even from sixth grade, I don't know if it's if it's possible. Yeah. Okay, well whatever, yeah. But I'm just yeah. saying that you know, creating yeah. creating the awareness so that people grow with those information because when you grow with information you be you're able to make better decisions. Once you don't have information you can make better decisions because you're ignorant. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so look, what you said and what the other just said, you know, we have to make awareness because Take a look at the last 20 years, you know, we had something like this in Liberia, right? Where up to this time, you still see third grade students 18 years old. Mm -hmm. So you can't say, um, we'll start from 10th grade with the sex education. She's not going to reach 10th grade at the time, so. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, 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 so if you keep going in the dark, she might probably not reach 10th grade. Mm -hmm. Because she's her friends a lot of times on the way. So, you know, I think um, when it comes to sexual education, she starts from first grade. First grade, you understand? No, 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 that's not really the case, right? Take a look at the rural areas, right? Where people, I'm, I'm 26 years old, people of your age are still in elementary. Yeah. You understand? So you can't keep on um, education in senior high. You have to come down to elementary, and it because it, at that side, there's no age attached to class. You know, everybody is equal, everybody in the same class, and stuff like that. Okay, based on what we have all said, it said yes. It's a yes. For me, yes. It's a yes. have those yes. 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 Yes, so for information, right? From age 13, in my mind, and I say that because of my, in my orientation, for, my, for me, in my mind, because I say my decision is based on my orientation, I don't feel my 13 year old child should be actively having sex. But well, you, can be you say yes, that's yes, 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 so yes, 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 Right, you can have that open conversation because and then you've crossed from and all those things. You cannot have an open conversation. Your parent consenting can say, "Hey, I will take you to have X, Y, and Z, and that's your decision on you." So, right. So you're saying, if you are saying yes, it should be from. <laughs> Let's have a one house. Yes. Uh, jumping, like I was trying to say, right? Let us just get to the realization that whether you even want uh, sex to begin from 18, it's not going to go your way. It's definitely going to go from the way it's already. The reason why we are not hearing all of what is happening in the States and whether they even get those things happening is because the way the media runs. Our media runs different than the way they are talking to us. They are having those things, but they are not being able to discuss it. So there's one house. Yes, let's have a house. So yes. short, short this video, I've already gone. Okay, 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 okay,
So he can say you should get a child for me at the age of 18. No. We all will go out in the future differences. Maybe I want to have sex soon and you want to have sex soon. <coughs> so it better you get the child uh, and you know at the earlier age. So now you know they are receiving. So <laughs> I started sending my message Sexual at the age active. of 12. And as soon as I've uh, really growing. So at the age of 12, both of our maybe 15, 16. So my mom had to give me for me. Then that doesn't mean she sent me to have sex. But then now she just wanted me to be on guard. So, okay. so I said yes. Let's go and watch. Let's go and Yes, yes, yes. You yes. can stand. Yes. So yes, yes. So we can talk about anything. Whatever's wrong. Okay. Okay. So okay. <laughs> So let's go back in Matthews. Childbirth. Mm. It includes teenagers too. Mm. And this childbirth 
this in a childbirth, this, 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 in a pregnancy, pregnancy related death does not only include women getting nine months for pregnancy, which nine months and she went to give birth. Abortion is also included in it. But well, how many, if we take statistics now, how many men die? After the woman has died from family pain, no. I mean from, from childbirth, nothing, no. nothing, right? No. That child is left alone as a partial orphan, even though the father is alive. So, when it comes to our reproductive health, women have the reproductive right as long as they are sexually active to take a decision when it comes to family planning. But the men also have that right to, 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 to encourage the women to take the family planning. They also have to the, the right because it is you when, when it comes to, to taking care of the family, it is you who are going to shoulder that burden of coming, of supporting that family. Yes, the woman is there as a helpmate, but for you the men, you have that burden of taking taking that of I mean of taking care of the family. And so see it as a help. See it as a calling for you to be an ambassador to that woman who wants to take family planning and encourage her, say yes, go for the family, let's go for it. But the decision should not come from you to say, since I say no, you're not supposed to take it. The woman has a right, the woman has a right to say I want to take family planning and you're supposed to be there to support her because it helps the both of you to be happy. Then when it comes to the teenage, I think we answer everyone over has answered that yeah. question. Mm -hmm. TH, TH, as long as you are sexually active, you have the right to family planning. Mm -hmm. Same as we are saying, the question my colleague asked, can a teenager die from, 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 from childbirth? The answer is B Y E S in bold print. Yes. <laughs> Let's just start walking from here to maybe go towards the bridge. Take a statistics and see how many teenagers that are pregnant. So why shouldn't we give them the, 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 the freedom to why shouldn't we give them the, the freedom to do to, 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 to family planning? Because these teenagers that are pregnant, most of them, if you check them up, they are not even living with the, their spouses that are impregnated. Mm -hmm. They are living with parents. parents. They have now become a burden to that parent, to that father who already has those number of children mm -hmm. and taking care of them, then they, that father is going to also take care of the child. Even, even if the girl is turned over to the boy's parents, that boy is not prepared to take care of the family. Mm -hmm. So why can't we give our teenagers the opportunity to seek family planning and plan their future better? So as to the stage go to our colleague gorgeous. Oh yes. So no, say thank you for the presentation you people made today. Um shortly we're just gonna look over the topic the impact of family planning on a growing society. How does family planning impact our country? How does family planning impact the lives of the people living in the country? Then there's a few points. Family planning helps to improve the human resource of the country. How, if a, if a person today, they are young, they are still in school, and then they decide to do family planning, this will help the person to grow up, reaching the full potential, maybe establishing in a career or be it in marriage, and then they can decide to have the number of children that they want that will be able to take care of. If a good population of the country will go to school, will have people tomorrow who will be willing and are able and capable of doing manpower jobs doing office jobs and they have the full ability to, to perform. But if someone who is not ready to have children, they don't they don't have that, that educational background, they don't have that financial background to take care of a child and then they have child or children. What happens to these children who are not in school, who are not giving discipline? What will happen to them tomorrow? They cannot perform. If I don't have good nutrition, that you will depend on to say, oh yes, they're able to do the their power job, they're able to do construction, they're able to do this. They will have many people who are lacking. 
and it brings spreading to the country. So that the whatever decision we make, we should also look forward to that. Then another one, it increases the economic status of the country. How it works. Once people are educated, once people have the willpower to learn something based on their experiences, because we cannot work if we don't have if we don't have the strength. And we cannot get the strength we need if we don't have the right nutrition that is required. Mm -hmm. But once you plan your children today, you plan your life today, tomorrow we can say, oh yes, our economy will grow because we have more people who have learned. People learn, be it in their home, they go to school, some of them have opportunities of even traveling to learn more. If we have more people who are educated, they will impact the <coughs> economy. There will be more developmental things that we ought to see. Then another way is that it reduces the maternal mortality of the country. Why sometimes people die? Because one, poor nutrition. Secondly, we have our health system not in strength. Sometimes, how, what affect our health system is furnaces that are supposed to be infused into those areas. You notice that they don't go there directly because it's being used for other things. What other things? Government have their targets. They have their, their, we call it a sustainable development goal, right? Mm -hmm. They have plans to put into place yearly that they follow. Now, if they come up to say, oh, yes, this year we are, we are doing a market project. Mm -hmm. And then they go about doing a market project. They do sing, they do everything. Later, because we don't have more people who are educated in the country, who don't have that mind of development, they come about and steal all those roof, they dismantle all the development government have put into place. What happened? People who are supposed to sell in the marketplace, they should be selling in a safe environment. So the government will not see them selling under the rain and allow it to be there. So another funny that is supposed to go to another project will be shift into that. So it reduces the development of the country. This is the reason why we want to talk about family planning. Then another way how it helps, it improves the lives of women. If the women decide to talk about family planning, to push family planning, and not on our own selfish gains, because I didn't have child when I was young. I didn't born out of wedlock. Right, I got married. Well, it won't happen for everybody, right? No matter what. Sometimes, some people get pregnant just the first day, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. some people get pregnant just any time. But if we have the idea now, to get it brought into that body, we were just a coach, a certain pill. So, if someone who has heard about it and can tell somebody, Oh, yes, you maybe you had sex last night and there's no way out, you can prevent yourself from, from getting pregnant. But taking your emergency contraceptive pills, this will help the person to develop their lives. Then children, those children who are born onto parents who are not prepared, they become burden. They become the ability of the country. How? Huh? They don't have opportunities of going to school. The education, the Ministry of Education law is that every child should begin school at about three years. Right? Mm -hmm. But three years, every child should be in school, be a public school or a private school. Now, it doesn't make sense to you that the child should go to school anymore. Why? Because you are not potential to, to put the child in school at that, at that mm -hmm. age. So you see it as sporting money. Or even if someone sends their child to some school where they are spending more money, you see it as sporting money. Mm -hmm. But every child should have their right to education. Mm -hmm. a, a, that alone it denies someone of getting their full human rights. The right to good school, the right to education, the right to good nutrition, shelter, if it breaks the, the economic of the country. What, because if these children get sick and then they go to the hospital, now we are, we, we are talking about, about hospitals being closed. If that child dies, it goes against the government. Oh, this year you have this number of infant mortality, you have this number of maternal mortality. 
then all your donors who are there in putting money into place into different sector to improve the health ah how how come i'm giving all this money and then i'm getting this report you who want to pay money into you know, something that doesn't have full results and continue putting money into it so it drives some entities away so family clinic is important in every way we will have a good country if we have a plain family things can change at any point in time based on our mindset mm -hmm. we, we may not know yesterday mm -hmm. but we are it to it today and we hope for a better tomorrow mm -hmm. so family planning is good for a developing nation because the babies that we having it should always be by choice so that they can be able to improve Mm -hmm. The country where we are today, we don't hope that the world will be there forever. Mm -hmm. We want it, want to see it as we see it on the TV. Sometimes when you see the country on the TV, mm -hmm. you is this like we are passing through brush like this? Mm -hmm. Yes, but it happens. And we have we have some people who always give examples to other countries. This country is like this, but it did not happen at the beginning. It happened somewhere mm -hmm. because mindset started to change, right? Yes. When we have some countries where you have to do development and break all those courses now, when people are not educated, they see everything as being evil. Mm -hmm. Even sicknesses that comes to everybody, it becomes evil to mm -hmm. one person. Why? Because of their mindset. It's my labor. My labor brings anemia, right? Anemia is low blood. Mm -hmm. It brings anemia, right? But now it becomes a wish trap business. Mm -hmm. And you know the child is sick, right? It all comes about because of our low educational knowledge. Mm -hmm. So we should always play that family planning should be taught. And we have people who are viewing a school that one day will have a lawmaker who will push the idea of family planning being legal last, especially when it comes to the teenagers. In our teenage, is when we make a lot of mistakes mm -hmm. that move forward to our adult mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have babies that we do not want mm -hmm. later. We have children that we can't get us home. We always say, go to the father, mm -hmm. go to the mother, go to yeah, this person to live. And while you are living your happier life, mm -hmm. we should know that children are repli replica of their parents. Sure. Mm? There's a reason why it's being made for two <coughs> And guess what? That part of you that you refuse to accept is what the children bring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we get some attitude that maybe I'm somebody say moody. Mm -hmm. And I know that I'm moody, but I don't accept because mm -hmm. once I'm happy, I laugh around. Then you have a child who is so moody, and then you and that father are no longer together. And then you have to draft the, the child over to live with the father, and that father has his woman. Who can control herself in what who can control the child when he's in a mood or when she's in a mood? What happened to that child? Child becomes disadvantaged because it's not me, it's it's a gene that is in me working. Right? I need yeah. somebody who will understand say they have it. It's that me. I remember all our family there, right? Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, it drives them also and then they become street children or disadvantaged youth. Yeah. So let us play like we are better. Let us play it starts from within us within the female your decision you make today because not all the relationship that we have supposed to end up to child bearing yes. it shouldn't mm -hmm. end to children it should be fun relationship when you are not married it should be fun it should be you going out there and tomorrow we can break up anytime yeah. and say hi mm -hmm. yes, yes. yes. It, it shouldn't break up tomorrow yes. and i don't want to see you anymore because sometimes there's a relationship that even if you break up, you don't see that guy anymore. Mm -hmm. Remember that you people have children for men who they don't see anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anymore, mm -hmm. nowhere. Mm -hmm. Not even on internet. Some people don't mm -hmm. like internet. Mm -hmm. So you just won't see them. Mm -hmm. So imagine if you have a child that you would never see that father. What will happen? You wouldn't know the child name. So by then they say there's a man that brown. Oh, they are part related. Then maybe they are one of the brown family. Mm -hmm. And now there are too many browns are around. Or maybe my brother didn't tell me that. Oh, yes. You are, you are my, my blood. Right? So it's good that we push family <laughs> in all sectors, be it in our school, be it in our religious sectors, be it in any social gallery. It's good that we talk about family planning. Yeah, so, thank you. So, so that's the case is working. I'm not spoken about how oh, I'm just going to run in places as well. We can get family planning opportunities, not necessarily in Monrovia, but I'll run all over Liberia. But before I just go there, I want to say that Liberia 
like any other country, it's just a collection of families. So once we play in the family world, and there's nothing like a hundred percent good society, but I mean that almost every family can claim to eradicate poverty and come to the middle level of income where we can provide these square meals for our family. So I'll start from the southeast somewhere in Maryland. In Maryland, we are we are in two cities, even though we have we have like pharmacies and medicine schools that sell our medicines outside of those cities as Plebo and Harper. In Harper on the Green Street, you have the Nelson Medicine School. You can get all of our family planning options, the short term methods, and then you can also get it on the road to this airport. You can also get an our family planning methods of CC Business Center or CC Medicine School. In Plebo, Nelson also sells our products, and then Quality Care Medicine Store. All of the private uh, facilities there, in terms of the clinics, also have our long term uh, methods. And uh, we come to Green G, they have Reju City on um, around the triangle <coughs> and then also have UBF Predos Medicine Store around this Reju Palace. In Ganta you have okay that's so Tapeta you have an uh, Austin Duet right around and uh, the Jazzy F the Medic and Medical Center you have our products there. In Ganta you have Windows opposite the new market you have Passion right on the brush you have F2 F2 Entertainment Center sell some of our condoms and then you also have the UR, the PMC group. In Banga, you have it at Sussex Pharmacy. Two of the Sussex Pharmacies, that's the one on Broad Street in Banga, and the one around the police station also sell pharmacies, and also sell our products. In Zozo, all of the medicine stores, they sell our products. In Vonjuman, there's Uncle's Tea, Lala Zuru, around JP Guest House, to sell our products. In Fuya, you have on your own medicine store. The store. Then, then in 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 Kakata, uh, okay. Let me come to uh, to Tuta. You have Path Pharmacy. They sell our products. And then in Kakata, Ali Pharmaceuticals. Around Kakata, we will sell our products. Clay Hat, Clay Hat Medicine Store, Fourteenth Street. They sell our products. And in Moriver, we have Bonti, Bonti, all of the Bonti have our products. We have our products also in Habel Supermarkets. We have our products in Era Supermarket. We have our products in Redemption Pharmacies. We have our products in and uh, there are some we have our products in B2 and then we have our Sanshi Pharmacy. In Bikeno, we have in prayer prayer medicine, so all the prayers have our products. We have Raman Pharmacy have our products. And all over you see is Fiesta, so they're just I'm just running to it's not of the pharmacies and medicine stores that have our products, but then it's just the ones that people usually go to. But anyway you see the stickers that end of our products so yeah, in Liberia. So if you can see that we cut across the country. So wherever the person is, you can get access to family venue products if you want it. Yeah, so we, we, we have a promotion, and now I'm going to talk on that for the ECP, that's the emergency contraceptive pills. Like for the least aware, the post pill, you should call it post pill, it's in the pink pack. So I just want to show it to you so that you can see. I'm going to speak on the promotion. And After sex pill. Okay, yeah. now I know it's you probably will soon be over, everybody will have an opportunity of accessing mm. a post pill pack. Mm. Uh, <laughs> so we have a, a dollar promotion on the post pill just to promote the product on the market. Eh? If you purchase a post pill for any pharmacy or medicine store, the new packages we have a label on it where you will scratch the, the secret code and then the number that is there, you can call that number. Just you just have to have a minimal account on your phone to dial the number. Let it ring. It's like you bleep it, the number. Or better say you can use your WhatsApp. You just start, just pick the number and it will call you back or even text you back and ask you a few questions about the ECB. Once you answer the like, two questions about ECB, what you know about ECB, side effect or ECB, once you answer, you see dialogue on your phone. Wow, be it orange or anything, you will receive your dialogue. 
Directing you to medicine store where you can access from the clinic for discount price. If someone is selling there for hundred dollars, you will get an opportunity of getting a phone forty percent discount. Yes, you got the condom. We have the OCP and we have the ECP. We'll be promoting it very soon. So maybe by that time you already be outside the house. <laughs> All right, everyone listening also. I'm not even selling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Dominicans are so. Uh, So, but wherever you are and you want, you want access to it, you just have to call the court. Shut up. Alright, go on. Yeah. 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 Yeah
you understand, and you can have more information. The next thing is, um, I know you have your product in pharmacies and so forth, but if you could work with um, like certain hospitals, like for example, GFK Hospital, like hospital that people normally go to do these things, where you can have maybe gynecologists and stuff, like really talking to people and explaining some of these things to, to women, and also men as well, just to create more education and more awareness. If we're talking about actually planning families, we also need to target these places as well to create information and awareness as well. Uh, okay, thank okay, you. Thank you. Well, uh, when it comes to that, um, GFK is a full package of health services in Liberia. So we have midwives, we have nurses who are already trained to do proper counseling and administration of all these products. Now, DAT have channeled their programs to private sectors because there where we have a lot of nurses, in there we have gas, and we are being able to at least fill them up with family planning. So we have professional staffs who are there to counsel, to administer all these products. Then when it comes to school, since 2018 we have been working with schools First, we started with a public school in Margibi, and me yeah. Margibi. Yeah. Then we have we have gone over to the on 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 Mackin Street. Those where has some the where has some the SDI yeah. 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 went to yeah. uh, what you or or did uh, yeah. you yeah. 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 of the schools you are going all over. We went to schools. Last year we saw a presentation of eight wives, like the like the university. We have a plan for that. But we also work with we also work for. It's a beautiful day. A normal day. A very, very busy day. But we always gather for a reason. To share the fun, the excitement, the greatness, the taste, pure gold, rich with flavor and refreshingly good. Club beer is simply the best made just for you. Great for realization in every celebration. Club beer, simply the best made just for you. The best since 1961, bred and bottled in Liberia.
club beer. Share the excitement. For 18 years and above, drink responsibly.
Just me do me work, 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 work Clean up all the dirt, 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 dirt I no chicken, I no jerk, 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 jerk Just to do me work, 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 work Audio Jungle intersection in the Tinkers Village community. I know you have energy problems in your homes, which is a big challenge for Liberia. I'm here to introduce to you the Propo Solar Solution. This Propo Solar Solution has in the package a television, three solar panels, one fan, and eight light bulbs. We are going to increase this light bulb to eight for your home. We have a battery in there, it's custom made, designed by West Coast Energy to supply you for the next 20 years of electricity. Basically, the battery will be changed in seven years. Technically, the installation will last for at least 25 years. The bigger system has more batteries. We have to increase a lot of batteries. And then we have more solar panels on the roof. The bigger system is running air conditions running all of our appliances, our loads, freezers, which you can also use in your home. So depending on your load, we have to size the system according to your load to know how many panels and how many batteries we can use. We got solution for everything for your energy. So visit us at West Coast Energy. Our location is around the Robbers Fee Highway right in the Tinkers Village community at the Best Spring Internet Academy School intersection. you find us there. Please find us 
so we can help you design a system custom made for your, your own use. The number is It's a beautiful
Ini apa? Jangan 